pin the live, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pin it just so we can spread, spread awareness about it. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. All right, there we go. I'm going to go. So, man, <clears throat> July the 2nd. July the 2nd of 2023, I signed what I thought was not a record deal, but more like a more a more extensive distribution deal. All right. So after doing that, after doing that, man, I started working, working with the same folks. Man, then man, shout out, shout out, Big Glow too, man. Man, fuck it, man. I ain't finna hold no hold my tongue. So the same folks that signed the Glow Rilla record. You know what I'm saying? And let me start out by saying this. Man, I ain't got no, definitely ain't got no quarrel with Glow. Or, I mean, shit, because in this sense, she was definitely more of a victim. I feel the same way about my guy, Hit Kid. Definitely love Hit Kid, man. I really love both, and I know Hit Kid and Glow had their little thing going on. But the truth of the matter is, truth of the matter is, this, this is where shit get tricky at, you know what I'm saying? And I really was never going to speak on it until I got a motherfucker... Or start reading shit, man, saying people didn't like how I handled the situation. Right? And I was like, damn, how I handled it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you how this went. Give you a little story. Though, throughout the whole period of me kind of thinking I'm signed, I never tried to book. I never tried to do nothing, you know, to go against the grain or none of that shit. Cause I don't know no better, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. I'm just I'm thinking I'm signed. So if a motherfucker tell me, "Hey, we going to, we going to New York. I'm going. I'm gonna get on the plane and go to New York." If a motherfucker tell me, "Hey, you can't drop no music on your own. The shit gotta go through me." Say no more. If a motherfucker tell me I'm posting too much, say no more. Man, so anyway, it come a time. I'll tell you how this shit, man. Really, the first time I do, I call. I call the people that I'm supposed to be quote-unquote signed to. And I'm like, hey, man, look, I'm trying to run my YouTube up. I'm trying to run my YouTube up. Do you mind me, like, dropping a visualizer on my YouTube just to make my money on my YouTube go up? Because that's the money that I receive every month. You know what I'm saying? He like, man, I ain't say no more. But you know when we drop the record, when we drop the record, the money that's being made from the video gonna come to us. I'm like, say no more. I'm just trying to run it up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. <clears throat> so I drop it. Shout out to my guy, Camera Guard, who shot that joint. So I drop the record. I drop the visualizer, which is what I'm thinking of visualizing. I get a call. Man, you drop, that's a whole video, man. You know you're not supposed to do that. You know you're not supposed to drop that. And I'm like, I'm slick, you know, slick nerves a little bit. Cause I ain't trying to, definitely not trying to get sued. Definitely not trying to fuck up no relationships. So I'm like, nah, I, I like, but that's why I asked you. Oh, uh, that's what I meant by the visualizer. Nah, man, that's a whole video. Uh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, man, my bad. He like, man, nah, it's cool, man. I'm not mad at you making your money, man. But you know, like, we in a partnership, man. You just can't, like, you know, we, you know, we, you know, them are our records. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I right, say no more, it won't happen again. Now, fast forward. I go, I normally come, come home to record. Depends, I fuck with some folks out here in Atlanta. But I normally come home to record, go back home to Memphis. So, I, you know, I get, I get the folks at the label some money. So, I'm like, hey, they send the guy that records my music, man some money so he can record my soon to be album i never i never got a chance kind of my my uh, the guy that i work with had an issue with his health at the moment so i only got a chance to do like to really finish one of those seven records now i ended up leaving and going back home and when i went back home there was an ice storm so i couldn't get into memphis then, once the ice storm cleared up, everybody in the house that I stay in caught the flu, including me. So I was down, considering between the ice storm and the flu, it damn near took me a month before I was ready to get back out. 
So just pay attention to that part of the story. That's important. So, so within that, I end up talking to him. He like, hey man, what we doing? I'm like, what's going on? He like, he like, man, uh, man, I don't like nobody because he gave him a deposit, which they did. He like, man, I don't like, I don't like uh, giving nobody my money, man, that long and sitting on it that long. You know what I'm saying? We trying to get the work done. I was like, nah, I, I, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I feel that. I feel that. And I was like, I feel that. Like, I wouldn't disagree because it's true. Like, you give a motherfucker two bands or $3,000, you know what I'm saying, to get some work done, you really want to go and get that work done because if you don't, if, if it don't, like, motherfuckers will be really lazy and trying to push you back because they have been spent that money, right? So... I ain't disagreeing with him. I'm like, yeah, you right, you right, you right. And he just, he ended up saying something. Now, mind you, this around the same time as the person in question, birthday. Now, boom, on his birthday, I text him. I'm like, happy birthday, bro, with a black heart. Now, pay attention to every detail I give you because I got screenshots to validate everything I say. I say, happy birthday, bro. The next text message he's seeing is not mine. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. The te next text message that he sent me is, Take me out of the link in your bio on, on IG. I don't know those people. So now his issue had been the whole time that the people that's in my bio are like small fish. Like they ain't, they ain't big enough to stand next to his name. He don't want to be associated with them. Take them out. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's been kind of his whole thing. I ain't tripping. Like all I say was okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm thinking maybe the hostility came from the fact that he feel like, man, we, I need to get the recording and shit kind of slowing down. I didn't disagree with that. It was because, like I said, I was coming out the flu. And before I caught the flu, it was a snowstorm in Memphis. Now, <clears throat> now, all right, boom. Once so when we finally do get on the phone, he talking to me about, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, sometimes you're going to miss a baby birthday, a kid's birthday. You know who I'm talking about, D. Like, man, I'm going to miss a kid's birthday. I'm going to miss a kid's birthday. And, like, it was around his nigga birthday, so I ain't say shit. I kind of let him say it, you hear me? Like, because I'm like, man, don't say it, Q. Like, I know me, bro. Like, I can be hot-headed, and I can, man, I can sleep, go off on a nigga, you hear me? But I ain't say shit. I let it ride. So two, three days later, though, I called, and I let him know, like, man, I ain't going to lie, like, bro. I ain't really fucking with the idea of telling me I got to miss kids' birthdays and shit. Like, man, this is who I do it for. I do it for my family, man. I love my family. And I ain't going to lie. He kind of walked it back and was just like on some shit like, man, I love my family, man, more than anything in this world. I get it. I was more so saying that sometimes you're going to have to do what you got to do to provide for the family. Boom, I got that. But then he goes into, oh, yeah, man. And then, look, I got these labels coming to you, et cetera, et cetera, looking at you, man, and you really post too much on IG. So, mind you, at this point, I'm like, bro, I'm currently being told what to do and not to do. Meanwhile, like, bro, I ain't been signed yet, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm really on some shit, like, man, I'm not finna let these folks dictate. I'm not finna let these folks dictate how I'm putting my, my post, like, this is how I make my money. I, I post, I go viral, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in the shit work, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if I want to stop that because the money that I do get every month, yes, sir, the money I do get, the money I do get every, every fucking uh, month is YouTube, right? And so, I'm like, man... Like, right, fuck all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna post this shit, you know what I mean? I'm gonna post it, but I didn't tell him that, and nor did we argue about it. I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't really messing with it. So, boom. So, boom. Hey, Eugene, keep, keep, Eugene, keep li listening. So, we get off the phone. I eventually shoot a text to him on some shit like, hey, man, when you get a chance... Can you send me an invoice? Now, on my marketing contract, because it's not a record deal, on my marketing contracts, it states I'm supposed to receive a statement. If y'all don't know what a statement is, a statement is like an invoice of like what you owe, what they didn't spend, shit like that, right? Now, they're supposed to give me one essentially every four months. At the end of one month after the, after the end of every quarter of a year. So a quarter is there's, there's 12 months in a year. That made four quarters in a year. They're supposed to give me one pretty much every four months. So that would mean three statements in a year. Remind you, I said I signed this on my mama's birthday, July the 2nd. All right? Boom. 
So I say, I say, hey, man, when you get a chance, I was looking at my contract and it states that I'm supposed to get a statement essentially every four months. And while I was reading it, I noticed that the address, where well, the address that's on the contract under my name is wrong. So it's like showing the address, not my address that I live at now. It's showing some address in Florida, and I ain't never stayed in Florida, you hear me? So, but I'm thinking it's an honest mistake because, you know, a lot of people use the same template for a, a contract, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't even thinking too much of it, you hear me? And so I send, uh, I send, so I'm telling him that, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling him that. And then he go, he go, uh, as soon as I say how much, I'm just trying to see how much I'm in the hole. He go 83,000. Now that's fine. Now, before y'all get up to 83,000, before y'all get to tripping on him about the amount, how the fuck do I know if he spent 83,000 or more than it or not? Man, my son was all over the radio. I don't know if he spent it. I can't tell you he didn't spend it, right? Like, all I can tell you is, all I can tell you is that's what he told me. And it took him three minutes from the time I sent that text message to tell me that he had spent 83000 Now, y'all probably, now let me pause. Y'all probably, because there's a lot of people on here. Y'all probably wondering, cute, are you mad? No, I'm not. It's just that, man, when, we get, when you get talking to these labels, there might even be a stain for me doing this. But I feel like it's already a stain. Motherfuckers keep asking me in my sign. The deals are going cold. With, you know what I'm saying? The moment I talk to a record label, the deals are going cold, like without an explanation. It's just... You know, you hear from them, they like, man, we want to work it out. We're going to give you a hard call back. Then it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? They're like, it go cold. I'm like, damn, what the fuck going on? You know what I'm saying? But when I got kind of a message from another person that's letting me know, like, man, this motherfucker speaking on the situation, like, like, oh, we not fucking with, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I can't really fuck with Q because I ain't like how he handled the situation. And I ain't going to put his name in it. And the reason why I ain't going to never say this dude's name is because it's not his fault. You hear me? He don't know. He don't know. And just like I brought up Glow and Hit Kid, let me say this. I do not have an issue with Glow nor Hit Kid. I definitely love everything they did for the city of Memphis. I fuck with it, and I am not trying to fuck them. Nobody else business. This is my business. So let me just start by this, saying that. You know what I'm saying? The, the, this is by no means shooting shade at Glow Rilla nor Hit Kid at all. They personal business they got with them, that's them. I fuck with them. I definitely, I definitely am inspired by what both have done. So this is not a day beef. Now, back to the store. Now back to the story. So I'm I'm talking to the I'm talking. So as I'm asking the fool, so I was like, cool. When he told me the eighty three thousand, boom, he calls me. So we talk on the phone. He like, hey, yeah, it take a hold on, y'all. He and he say, yeah. So we get on the phone. We talking. He like, hey, it take a minute for accounting because we're trying to merge the uh, real talk deluxe with the real talk EP. I say, say no more. You hear me? Like, I ain't even tripping. Like, I'm like, because I was never asking to be on no bullshit in the first place. I was only asking to see what kind of, like, what, like, what marketing they did. You know what I'm saying? And how much this shit cost. Because I only owed one more project. And I'm like, shit, when I give them this project, I'll be on my own. And maybe I can put my own money up to kind of further my music career. So, I ain't, I ain't, I wouldn't know no boo. I wouldn't know dirt when I, when I asked for it. I swear to God, I was not on no dirt when I asked for it. Boom. So anyway, I asked for it. He, he goes, he goes, oh, he said, okay, no problem. Now, mind you, me and him talk every day. We talk every day on the phone before that happened. Now, after that, after I asked for it, I get, I, it, it gets to be cold. Like, I'm not receiving no messages, no nothing. Like, like one week go by, two week go by. Now we're on the third week and I'm nervous. I ain't released no music. I ain't heard from Dory, you know. I ain't got no statement. I don't know what the fuck is going on or what the fuck to think. So, so boom. I'm like, shit, okay. I reach out. I start looking at my marketing contract again. And one of the things that stood out to me was the words exclusive, exclusive artist term. I ain't know what a lot of this shit meant, but I looked it up and it's like, damn. Exclusive artist term, exclusive artist term. And I'm like, woo woo, I'm talking to my folks, my people. And that's like, that just mean, that just mean, that just mean like, exclusive artist term mean they got rights to you. Not just your music, man, like you. That means that you are officially a signed artist if you sign an exclusive artist deal. You know what I'm saying? And so I got the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like I, so I'm like, oh, boom. So I ain't really, I ain't. 
I don't, I ain't really, I ain't really signed. Like I knew it, but like it, when I seen it, I knew it. Then I started looking for things like first right of refusal. Like, do I have to deliver this music at a specific time? Not do I have to, not do I have to give them music at all, but I started, you know what I'm saying? Looking at the situation, like, do I even got to give them like, like, yeah, do I got to give them music at all? And if so, do is, is it a timetable to deliver? No, there is not, not a timetable to deliver on this music. So I, I end up at the time going viral off of the Try Loving Me record. This before I even recorded it, y'all. I just sung it, you know what I'm saying? So when I sung it and I knew it was doing good, I was like, damn, but I don't want to release it and get sued. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't talking to me over here. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, I'm stuck. I'm feeling like my, my music's going to be stuck. So boom. So boom, I end up hollering at the entertainment lawyer and letting him read it. He was like, there's no exclusive artist component of this deal, X, Y, Z, et cetera, et cetera. So he's like, I'm like, okay, how much would it cost to retain you? And he like, I was like, cause I just want to release my records, man. He said, before we do all that, can you just send me the contract? So that's how he got to seeing the contract and go, hey man, this is, you're not signed. This is not an exclusive artist deal. This is nothing more than a distribution deal with no extra guarantees on anything. You know what I'm saying? Like there's literally nothing in here that points to them being able to control when you release music, how you release music or none of those factors. So I was just excited about that. Like I ain't, I ain't, I ain't think nothing of it. But mind you, I'm still not talking to him. So I'm still not thinking like I want to drop no music. Cause like I hear, what, I hear what the lawyer's saying. But he looking at it and he doing this real quick. And I'm like, hell no. Nah. Like, like I'm like, so I mean, what do we do? He was like, I'll tell you what. I'll get an email chain started right now. And uh, and we, and you know, with them, uh, your your manager, uh, and uh, their lawyer. And so. My, my my lawyer, he gets in an email chain and he starts to, you know, pretty much let it be known. Like, hey, you know, Anthony Q is not signed. He's just letting it be known that, you know what I'm saying, he's going to, you know, get ready to drop his own music, you know, on his own terms. Boom. They go. Now, let me tell you what he tell y'all. Now, this is why it's so important. And this is why I'm going to lead this live vote for a lot of different reasons. One, safety reasons, man. Like, you don't know how niggas get to acting when you get to spilling the truth. So I'm going to leave it up in that regard. But I know God got me, so I ain't worried about that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't claim bad energy. You dig what I'm saying? It ain't that serious. But just because, I'm going to leave it up. You know what I'm saying? Then, then, uh, then we got, uh, what I'm saying? Oh, boom. So in the email, they go on to say, now he goes on to say, not they, because the lawyer didn't come right away. Not they lawyer didn't come right away. So he goes on to say, Anthony Q is in an exclusive artist agreement. First lie, I'm not signed to y'all, per the contract that you giving me. Two, he says, we've spent $100,000 on Anthony Q's career. That's what they say. This is what he says. Not me. This ain't no shit again. Again, y'all, mind y'all. Mind y'all, I swear to God, man, mind y'all. I ain't never disrespected this man. Now let's go back. Remember, I told y'all about the story that uh told y'all about the story of me catching the flu, the ice storm, and like him being right essentially about only getting one record done. This is true. So he gets in there, he breaks down that he gave the money for the studio and all of that, right? So once he does that, he says, I he said, Anthony Q only completed one song. This was also true. He said, but it was met with nothing. He said, we've been we spent over hundred thousand dollars on Anthony, career, uh, Anthony Q's career to be met with nothing but excuses and disrespect. Mind you, I've never disrespected this person, like no, nor his business. Like I've never, I've never in my life had one bad thing to say to him. Have I disagreed with him? Yes, but even then, I mind my tongue and I mind my tone because again, I don't want to. I don't want to. Like all you know is about being blackballed in the industry and. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers feeling no way. And when these niggas be up, man, these niggas got a different type of power than you do. These niggas every year go to the Grammys. They every year they go to the BET Awards. So I was on shit like, man, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to call no riffs. It wasn't even that serious for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I was essentially just only asking for a damn invoice simply so I would be able to see what money was being spent where. So I would be able to invest into my own music the same way that they were. I wasn't even thinking no fuck shit at all. Like I like there was not a fuck shit bone in my body to answer the answer the question. All right, cool. Here you go. Now he go after he says that to my lawyer that I've been met with nothing but disrespect. You know what I'm saying and excuses. Now mind he said he he spent a hundred thousand on my career. 
He already said that he just spent 100000 and I'm 83000 in the hole. Now, my lawyers come from the press room about this statement or threatening to, to sue them because they're in breach. Remind y'all I signed this deal July the 2nd on my mother's birthday of 2023. Now, once that happened, once that happened now, once that happened, I get the invoice like a month later. It still took a long time to get it. So we damn near like in month number nine before I get the first invoice. So I get the invoice. And on the invoice, it say they spent $63,000. And it said I owe $42,000. Now, mind you, this is the same person that said they spent 100 bands. But on the, I did not, again, if y'all need it, I can drop all of these screenshots in the comments, right? Get me, because I, I, I wanted to go big. Get me 10,000 shares. I know it sounds like a lot, but this is a big deal and this is my life. 10,000 shares of this video, and I swear to God I'm dropping, and I'm dropping, and I am going to drop the actual messages, emails, all into, into the comments. You know, so I owe 60, so... They spent 63000 They spent 63000 not 100000 And instead of owing 83000 I owed 40 something thousand. And I really may have already made like 30 something thousand, but we're doing a 50-50 split on the actual uh, money that's being made, and they get to actually recoup on the money that they spent. So they're going to take half of like 36000 and then put the other half that I actually made for myself into what I owe them, which is fine. That's, that's, that's actual industry standards. That's how the shit works. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Now, once they send it to me, now I got to tell y'all, y'all like, to be honest, this was last year when I received this statement. We're in the month of October. No, 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 I take that back. Beginning, now, wait, was it? No, so yeah, now I'm about April. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, about April of this year. Because we had May, June, July, August, September, October. So in a year, over, in, over a year and a half, and I've only received one statement. In a year, I've, in a year and a half, I've only received one statement. I couldn't tell y'all how much money I made off the record face shit. I seen, I, I'm going to tell y'all exactly how I seen because I don't want to be, I don't want to try to pop it on here. I received $5,000 for face shit. But y'all got to understand, I was, I ain't, like, we talking about at a time when a nigga completely broke and the record had just came out, had no radio play, no nothing, right? So I really took that just to put it in my pocket. You hear what I'm saying? So I did, I did a, a deal on face shit for five bands. You hear me? And... That's the, all the money I've ever made off of face shit. I haven't made one dime off Lickback. I have not made one dime off of my, my Business. I have not made one dime off Diamonds. I have not made one dime off Quit. I have not made one dime on Standing on Business. I have not made one dime on Grandma Esther. None of these records have I made any money on. You know what I'm saying? And so... When I start hearing shit like, man, people tell me, like, or tell people around me that are supporting what I do and, you know what I'm saying, and helping me, man, go, go that way, go that way. They're telling him, they're telling, they're telling, uh, telling people around that could potentially help or sign me that one, I'm signed, and I owe them, I owe them a album. And in theory, kind of, but they're already in breach of their contract because, they haven't, <laughs> they haven't essentially abided by their own contract. I never asked for them to put nothing about a statement in the contract because I was essentially ignorant. I did not know any better as it pertains to like contracts and agreements, right? Um. So after the fact, man, I've always been feeling the way, and I've always wanted to like come forward and speak up for myself, and I should have knew better. 
when Glorilla had the issue that she had. And I still don't believe it to be his kid's fault. I don't. I believe, and I, and I hate to throw his name around because I don't, and he don't want, I know for a fact, and I didn't peep his energy, man, and I didn't peep Glow's. Man, don't, neither one of them want to be in the middle of no bullshit. But I'm only telling this side of the story because it's my truth, you know what I'm saying? And it's part, even people that he knows, and again, I'm not going to put that person's name out there because when he spoke about me, he was only speaking of what he knew. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he only spoke because he felt like, hey, I, I, I'm in business with this person or I'm in business with this person, and the last thing I want to do is piss them off, and I don't like how y'all handle business with them. And it's like, whole time, I never wronged them. I never said nothing out of line to them. Man, for the most part, I asked for an invoice, and they started spinning me. And if you don't know what spinning me means, it's, it's like they, they started to give me the cold shoulder, cold shoulder. It's almost like being shelved, you know what I'm saying? Because already you got to already think about it now. They think that, I'm, that I think that I'm signed. So this nigga ain't going to go drop no music because he know not to play with us because I told him he was signed in a sense, and that legally he can't drop music. So at this point, like, I'm finna show him what time it is, right? Whole time, I was never signed. I could have dropped music anytime I wanted to. And now since that's come, I've had, I, and I ain't gonna name the labels, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm already probably about, about as much blackball as blackball can get, you know what I'm saying? Like, just being honest, you know what I'm saying? And, man, a lot of my team, and I, you know, and I told them, man, that I was gonna do this because, man, at the end of the day, like, man, this is my truth, you know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, I like man, I don't even I can't even tell you that I'm supposed to be this far. You know what I'm saying? Like God brought me this far, man. You know what I'm saying? Like not them, not you know what I'm saying? Not because I'm just uber talented. Now God got a calling on my life, man. So when when I'm speaking on this shit, like man, I'm Malcolm X, I'm Martin Luther King, man. I ain't meant to be controlled. I ain't meant to be. I ain't meant to be a motherfucker to handle me a certain way and then think I'm supposed to be quiet the whole time. You mistreating me. You mishandling me. I ain't. I ain't doing nothing to you, bro. I'm just trying to take care of my kids, try to feed my family. Like I ain't on no fuck shit, bro. You on fuck shit. If a nigga can't ask you a question, bro, about some shit y'all legally put in the contract, bro, you flaw, bro. You a snake. You hear me? Like, I ain't, I ain't on no bullshit, bro. I ain't even on no hype trying to fight shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just strictly on some, like, man, I ain't in Memphis. I ain't in Memphis, yo. I'm on some straight. I'm on some straight. Straight like, man, I just want, man, to be handled the way a motherfucker said they were going to handle a nigga. Man, meanwhile, in between time, man, all the money I make, I make on my own. Either from shows or, or side deals I got going on. Man, these motherfuckers, these motherfucking labels is not fucking with me, period. And it ain't because they don't fuck with me. It's because, man, the truth of the matter is, they blackballing me. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, and I should have knew better the moment he told me that uh, we the ones that worked the FNF record. I should have knew. I should have knew right then. And then I should have knew. I should have knew right then when every time he brought up Hit Kid or Glorilla name, man, he had something sour to say about him. You got to be careful about a nigga who will sit down and do business with a motherfucker and throw dirt on their name. You hear me? And like, this ain't no me just throwing salt, man, or trying to dig up no dirt. Because I don't want, I don't want, if you're fucking with him, I want you to keep fucking with him. I ain't trying to, if that's how you feed your family, I ain't trying to fuck him no money. You hear me? At all. But at the end of the day, like, man, a, a snake, a snake, a cow with a cow, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lame, a lame. A nigga can't run away from being who he is, man. You hear me? If a nigga, if a nigga on that, bro, a nigga on that. You hear me? That, that's just being, that's just being true. And I, my, I'm sparing it. I know I'm saying it, and I'm sparing them because, man, at the end of the day, I'm so solid. I know that nigga got a family to feed. But I'm definitely like, man, people ain't slow. They gonna go out there. They gonna know the label name. They gonna know who I'm talking about when they Google it. They gonna know who I'm talking about. They may not know the person I'm talking about, but they definitely gonna know the business. You hear me? And you can't stop the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, man, a nigga just need to make me whole. You hear me? Make me right. Set me free. Give me my music back. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause that's really all I want. You know what I'm saying? So if a motherfucker see, seeing it, man, just give me my music back. I don't want nothing like a nigga make it seem like, man, you ain't really doing that well anyway. You ain't doing this. You ain't doing that. You ain't, you ain't really like, and I ain't never heard a nigga tell me, man, I wasn't doing good until, man, I asked for that invoice. A nigga told me, like, oh, man, it's going to take a minute. You, you and really only one other artist have ever asked for your invoice or your statement. Now, mind you, now, mind you, nigga, y'all put it in the contract. How is me asking for some shit that you put in the contract wrong? You know what I'm saying? Like, man, it's the it's the weirdest shit to man have to hear a motherfucker tell you, like, man, 
Like, oh man, most definitely. I keep hearing motherfuckers tell me, oh well, you know, you know, I'm gonna say man, you know hit maker saying y'all, you sign. Like, the shit's so motherfucking crazy. Like, bro, how am I? Like, we ain't never, like, bro, we discussed this with the lawyers. But so, because these people already got the money, bro, they can sit. They can sit. They can sit in the seat or they can go into a room I can't go into, bro. They can go into a room I can't go into. So, because they can go into a room I, can go, I can't defend myself against what they saying, right? And these folks ain't going to listen to me. And if I pop it like I am now, I just really eliminated any chance of a label taking a chance on me. Because for the most part, all of them going to feel like they snake or do some shit like that. So, now, so now, so so now, they ain't going to fuck with a nigga because they feel like, oh, okay, he rogue. He going he gonna, to he gonna do too much online. He going he gonna to get on here. On, he going to pop it. He going he gonna to try to destroy He going to try to destroy a nigga name. How is that even for? Like, even saying I'm going to destroy y'all name, meanwhile, you destroying mine. How, how, is, how is you lying, telling motherfuckers I'm signed to y'all, not, not destroying my motherfucking name? Like... How is that? How is that the case, bro? And like the truth of the matter is, I'm really only defending my name right now. Cause the really only nigga thing, yeah. Like I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep. And if y'all really wanna support, man, if y'all really wanna support what I do, I'm gonna tell y'all right now how y'all can do it. And this ain't just no promo, cause all this shit's the truth, man. If I really want to support what I do, man, it costs a dollar to download this lawyer on iTunes. That's a record I still got completely out of myself. Nobody get a part of it. And if you really want to support what a nigga do, man, download that. I'll drop that in the description, too. All you got to do is hit download, spend a book with a nigga, and show him what's up. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. But outside of that, outside of that, man, all I want is to be treated fairly, man. Make a nigga whole again. Again, I couldn't tell y'all what I owe these folks. I'm a year, I'm, a, I'm almost two years in, and I didn't receive one statement. One. I can't tell you if I still owe a nigga 20 bands or 10 bands or three bands, or if they probably be sending me money every month. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you that. Because I don't know. Man, but the, but the blessed part about it, they fucked up when they sent me a country, a contract that had non exclusive artist terms on it. But now, since they fucked up, instead of mine just making a nigga whole and giving this shit up to whatever, giving it up to however, and taking the loss and just letting the nigga go, get what they do. They go into rooms I ain't invited into and tell them that I'm still signed to them. Meanwhile, we're not putting a damn penny into what I got going on. Not my travel, not nothing. Not, not, not my videos, not nothing. Nothing. Why well, not doing zero marketing to help further my, my music at all? You know what I'm saying? The shit's so crazy, man. Cause it's like I ain't on no fuck shit, and I've been being quiet, man. But I ain't gonna lie. When you, when you sit back and you start thinking about like, man, the shit fucked up, bro. Like it's fucked up to see a motherfucker to see a text message that read like I don't like how Anthony Q handled the situation, and I'm like, I'm like, you don't like how Anthony Q? Like what the fuck did they tell you? How did how did they tell you I handled the situation? Because I never said anything. Like, oh, yes, I did go get a lawyer, but I only got a lawyer so I can drop my music. So I, well, I wouldn't be held captive. I never, I never, like, I didn't even, I, mean, I didn't even, I should, I should now, but I never tried to sue him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, like, I, I never, I never brought, on social media, I never brought the name up on, like, like, never brought his name up. I've never brought the company name up. Like, man, I've been staying solid throughout this whole process. You know what I'm saying? And not because out of fear. I just was staying, I was just staying silent, man, because the first thing I thought was like, man, you don't want <clears throat> you don't want to tarnish your nine Q, man. These record labels, they ain't gonna wanna touch you. You do that shit. You know what I'm saying? And the whole thought, the whole thought I'm thinking about is, man, he doing it. He making sure that, like, man, if I unless unless hitmaker get some money, they making sure that don't no label touch me, don't no label sign me, none of that. You hear me? Like, for real, for real, I'm, I'm dead ass serious. The shit's so crazy, man, because it's like, man, I, man, it's like, I regret it. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, man, if I go back, I'm like, damn, man, I ain't, man. But what they do to an artist, they wait. They wait. They wait till they feel like they can believe in you enough, sign you, right, tell you anything, don't invest, don't invest into shit you got going on, man, you hear me? 
and like man try to try to portray you out to be the bad guy if you don't continue to want to be a puppet man i'm 36 years old you hear me i ain't i ain't trying to be hard i ain't trying to do none of that i'm trying to just stay out the way man i got my mama i got my mama and them up there you know what i'm saying don't do too much got my mama got my mama and my daughter up there man I'm on some take care of my family shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on no, hey, nigga need to stop playing me before I beat their ass or blow their ass. I'm like, man, I ain't on none of that. You hear me? I'm strictly on some like, man, this the only way I can be felt because this is, like, now I got a voice. I got a platform. I got followers. I got people that, I mean, I'm hoping to share this live, man, and at the very least, man, can bring some type of mitigation to me and Hitmaker. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about Young Bird. I'm talking about Hit make a distribution. You hear me? Like, man, if if we can't, I would rather, man, come to some type of conclusion where I can go by my separate way. You hear me? I don't want no dealing, bro. Release me. Because the truth of the matter is, they know and definitely he know, man, that I got more I got more proof than I can jump in these comments. You hear me? Like, the truth of the matter is, I got the proof. Y'all don't. You hear me? Like, there's nothing that points to me being disrespectful. Your receipts ain't enough because your receipts don't equal out to $100,000. Like the email said that you did. Like, man, I ain't, again, I am not on no fuck shit, bro. But, man, it's, it's, it's crazy to have somebody tell you, like, it's crazy to have somebody tell you that you, you, you know what I'm saying, you're being disrespectful or that you was making excuses. Like, that ain't for real. Like, that what you gonna tell folks, like, man, that what you gonna sit up there and try to tell the lawyer or tell my manager, bro, that I was being disrespectful, that, man, I, that I was making excuses, bro, like, bro, I'm a nigga that come from nothing, bro. Like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't on that, and I ain't letting them steal my joy. This is really just my truth. This is me, this is me, this is me hoping that the people can be louder than the system. You know what I'm saying? And this is, this is the equivalent of Martin Luther King or Malcolm X speaking that it's not about the same type of, uh, Hold on, y'all. I don't think I got it. All. I don't. I don't got it all, man. It just lose it. I'm in the boonies, y'all. Like, man, we ain't, we ain't on no bullshit. But at the same time, like, man, they got all the money. All I got is the follower. Man, all I got, all, all I got is the, is the, is the following. So it's like, man. If y'all want to see me drop the comments, I'm gonna pin this live. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go out there, man. Man, man. If you need to make, leave a comment. Tell them. Say, man. Leave a comment. If you fuck with what I do, tell, man. Put the comment in there. Put hit maker, man. Do the right thing. That which I need to put, man. Put in the comments. Hit maker. Do the right thing. Share this live, man. Run me up. Cause at the end of the day, they need to make it right. I don't even make them enough money to be playing with me like this. They know it. But to man. But, but. To really bring a nigga name up into a situation, man. To bring a nigga name into a situation and make it seem like I'm out here rogue. I'm out here playing with the label. I ain't, bro, that, all that shit is false. I pay for my own video shoots. Man, I pay for my own, own clothing. They don't do none of that. None of that. So to pretend like I'm signed to you, bro, to just keep me from getting signed, bro, the shit is ridiculous, bro. Like, why you want you want to be off in my pocket? It, it's... It, it's man, man, it's 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 crazy, it's, it's crazy as a motherfucker. Like man, just man, do the right thing by a nigga, man. Like like it shouldn't have to get to this point. I shouldn't have to man turn to like drastic measures or put my career on the line as it pertains to other labels because man, I'm afraid that man y'all gonna keep fucking with a nigga money, man. Like come on, man. Like man. All y'all gotta do is do the right thing, man. Set a nigga, set a nigga free completely, man. Take my music off your catalog, man. You ain't gotta have nothing to do with me. I don't need no money. I don't need no money to do with none of that. You hear me? I don't want none of that. Just my take, let my music go. Let my music go. Come on, man. It, it's it's too much of a headache to be sitting here, man, having to go get like go get my lawyer, tell him, hey man, send me, you know, they still ain't send me another invoice. He's like, damn, really? I'm like, nope. Like, Jesus, like, a nigga shouldn't have to fight for some shit y'all put. I shouldn't have to fight for some shit that y'all didn't put in the contract to ourselves. Man, it's ridiculous, man. Man, it's ridiculous, man. It should, it should be like that, man. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be one of those situations where, man, a nigga know, man, a nigga got kids, all kind of shit. And, like, man, 
y'all are hold, not only hold my music captive, that was one thing, because y'all got that captive. Y'all ain't squaring no, y'all ain't doing square business. But on top of that, but on top of that, God damn, like, on top of that, y'all gonna sit around and, <laughs> and, 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 and not motherfucking, man, do what you put in the contract, man. That's all, man. Come on, man. That, that's it, man. That's all you gotta do, man. Man, make it whole. Make the situation right. Let a nigga go. Tell the truth. At least tell the truth to the people y'all talking to. When they ask you, am I signed to them, tell them no. Like, we had a distribution deal with them, but he's free to sign with anybody. Like, do that type of square business. Like, man, come on, man. Free me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I want to be I want to be like the rest of 1017. You hear me? Let me go, man. Let me go. Don't 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 hold on to me, man. I don't want I don't want to be the bitch you don't want no more, but you don't want nobody else to have. I don't want to be that. Come on, man. Like I ain't trying to I, I ain't trying to be on none of that. You hear me? I just want to I need, and it's crazy cuz I I can't tell y'all I really want to be signed no more. I just want to be free, man. I want to have my music to myself, man. Make my money and do whatever it is, man, that God intended me for the, to do. Man, I don't even want to be bothered. I don't even want to deal with nothing. You hear me? Like, set me free, man. Set me free. I don't understand why you want to keep me. Again, you don't want me. It ain't like you put no money into no market. In have you, mommy, have you seen Hitmaker do anything with my music yet? Okay. Yeah, like, I ain't, I ain't, ain't, ain't nothing happened. I ain't seen no extra stuff came out of it since we stopped talking. I ain't seen them promote a video through the thing. You if you go on that website, I ain't on it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, man, don't hold me, man. Let me go. Let the music go. But see, they really mad because they messed up in the paperwork. Their attention was to, to screw me for real, for real. Their attention was to, man, get me to pretty much sign my hardest record at the time, which was fake shit, over to them for a little or nothing. They got me there. You know what I'm saying? But then I'm going to get them for some more records. So if a label sign, label try to come and sign them. What we going to do is make the label pay us for the music that's owed to us. Technically, I can't make them pay us. I can't make, make them pay us for him as an artist because I know in the contract, you know, say he belongs to him. But I know if he owes us an album, uh, I can make a label pay for that because the label wants the albums. You know what I'm saying? It's a very smart move. The only problem is you're constantly telling people I'm signed, man. Now, tell them the truth. Tell them, man, we gave him a contract, a distribution contract. Um, we do, he, he do owe us another album, but it ain't a timetable to deliver. So in theory, y'all can sign him. He can finish out that contract with y'all, and he can still owe us that album. They'll never do that because he messed up from initially sending me the contract without having any exclusive artist terms in it. And it's crazy, man. It's crazy that, man, as an artist, and, I, and it's crazy because I never thought I'd be the artist to do that because I always feel like I'd be smart enough to not to not fall into the trap, you know what I'm saying? But it's crazy that as an artist, you have, to, you have to use your following as a way to, you know what I'm saying, draw attention to the situation to get some type of act right done or whatever the case be, right? Like, man, come on, man. It's crazy work. It's, it's insane that a, that a nigga gotta, gotta do that. Man, it took me, it took me to get my own money to buy a real chain. The chain I had on, man, in the diamonds video, man, we talking about fake chain, you hear me? We talking about a fake chain. They didn't try, man, they, that they charging for on the invoice, you hear me? This, the, the, the real though, you hear me? And I did that with my own money. These teeth, yeah, man, I did that. With my own, that, and that's what be tripping me out, man. It's like, man, it was like God way of telling me that. Man, you can do it yourself, son. Like I've already, I've already showed you that it, that it, man, it took me two hundred and twenty-five dollars to go viral. I did. I ain't have no clothes, really. I did the no handouts video, and man, I had my shout out to my guy Anthony Tree, man. Make sure y'all shop with a live clothing, man. Please do, man. He gave me, he gifted me, man, a free outfit in the no handouts video. I, I, man, I took my daughter to school. Uh, I took my daughter to school. Uh, I had like a thousand views on TikTok. By the time I made it back home, by the time I made it back home, man, I had like over 100,000 views on TikTok. And from there, the rest is history. You know what I'm saying? And, and all love came. And shout out to 4K TV. Because at the time, he was running the special on video. Man, I think I gave him like $175. And I got my hair cut. You know what I'm saying? Man, it ain't take no money, man. It, it, took, it took, man, God's timing. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man. 
No labor. There ain't no labor did that, man. You hear me? Ain't no labor did that, man. A smooth 13,000. You hear me? Ain't no labor did that, man. Just come on. Come on, man. We got to. We got to, man. We got to try our best, man. If you're an artist, man, please, please. I know, man, sometimes hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel, man. And I am, again, man, I can't say they do bad business because who the hell knows how they treat somebody else? I don't know that. I'm just telling y'all right now, man, at, 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 at this point in my life, man, these labels is not messing with me at all. You hear me? And it's because of Hitmaker. They can say what they want to say. They can lie, man. But the truth of the matter, nah, it's the show Hitmaker. You understand what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to, man, stay up. I'm finna drop, man, again, 10,000 shares. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do it till I get 10,000 shares. Cause, man, it's really personal business and I'd rather go through my attorney to do this shit. But, 10,000 shares, I'm putting them in the screenshots. And on top of that, I'm finna drop the iTunes link to this lawyer. Man, if y'all really wanna show the support, man, and I know it sounds crazy, man, but a dollar, man, a dollar. Cause if the more y'all purchase that, man, y'all make the record big, y'all blow the record up without the label, they can't touch it. They don't get a dollar off of it. They won't get a dollar off of it, and legally they can't touch it. So if you really want to support what I'm doing, man, everybody, because it ain't the money, man, that, that make it do what it do. It's the number. So, like, man, I get 1,000 downloads. I get 10,000 downloads. I get 11,000 downloads. It take me into Billboard and all that old shit. So make sure, man, if y'all want to, pop it for me. Man, support what I got going on. Man, I love y'all, and I appreciate y'all for listening, man. No matter what you do, stay true to yourself, stay true to your culture, stay true to what you believe in, stay true to your religion. I throw these niggas position, they try not to show it, I see it when I'm in the city. These little niggas be talking about sorority college students when they say they be stiff. 28 people got hit, then nobody died, damn, that was a bitch. Really thought dude was killer when I read the case, that nigga made a confession. Five years on the bunk, made me a whip, and I'm talking about...